Good afternoon. Here we are again. You know, I was just thinking, and I'll remind everybody at the end of the Facebook Live today, I want to come up with a name for what we're doing here on Facebook Live through uh, the Breakthrough Business Mastery. That's the boot camp or, you know, the Traction Coach. I, I don't know what it is, but what I'd like to do is ask all of you to just send me, hey, Candy, how are you? Um, to send me ideas, uh, maybe what we could name these episodes. Hey, Sam, thanks for joining. So today is going to be uh, really interesting. And also, as you check in, would you just put uh, where you're watching from and just say hi. And again, if you have any ideas about what we could name these episodes. So today, we're going to talk about the five simple steps to achieving your big, audacious goals and also dreams. And um, you notice I didn't say easy. I said simple. And so many times what we look at as far as how to achieve or how to accomplish anything is that we look at two different areas and we go, well, that's difficult. That's something that's way out of my league. But if we break it down, and I'm going to show you how to do that, we're going to be able to achieve a lot more in the same amount of time. So if you grab your pencils and paper and, uh, you know, I'm going to give you the five steps. And so the first step is going to sound a little bit, uh, maybe really simple, but you've got to have an audacious goal to be able to achieve, an, 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 if I can just say it, an audacious goal. So what does that mean? For a long time, we have been taught and not to, to really dream, not to really go after the big thing. We've been saying to do the things that we know or predictably we know we can achieve. And that way we don't get disappointed or we don't increase that fear of not achieving or failing, whatever we want to do around it. Hey, Shelly. And, you know, what happens is that there is no power, there is no emotion, there is no juice, if you will, about what we're doing and why we're doing it. And so that big audacious dream in the action steps, I'm going to show you and give you a couple of tips on how to create that. If you don't already have it, many of you probably already do, or you did at one time. See, when we're uh, younger, not that I'm older, or I guess I'm not old, but I am older. But when we're younger and we're starting out, we have that ability to think really, really big. And over a period of time, a lot of the influence that we have around our lives, it's pushed down and we stop doing it. And so what we're going to be doing, though, but there, if we don't have an audacious, great, big, juicy dream, there's nothing we can do to be able to achieve what we're going to do here. So that's step one. Step two is taking that big dream. And this is one of those areas that really is the key to everything. And hey, Steve, how you doing? Um, is you chunk that big, audacious goal down. We have that tendency, and we've heard before the analogy of how do you eat an elephant? And it's always one bite at a time. But we have that urgency, especially in North America, where we want everything instantaneously. And we get choked, and we get behind, and we get overwhelmed, and we do all this stuff. And the reality is we have done it to ourselves. So again, at the end, in the action steps, we're going to break each of these areas down, and I'll give you some suggestions on how to do this. But breaking it down into a couple of areas, number one, the tasks, and also then the time. So some things will take longer, and we have this, uh, well, and if we don't take longer, we're sacrificing other things. And so we're going to put that in balance. Number three is to take action. And here is the interesting thing, is that we have a tendency to think that we have to accomplish everything. Hey, Greg, thanks for joining. And by the way, Greg, Greg had the book launched last night for the influencer effect. And if you haven't got that book, it's uh, if you have online marketing at all, you need to go get Greg's book. And it's on Amazon. It's now a number one bestseller. So there was, hey, Greg, there was your commercial. I had the privilege and the honor of speaking just for a couple of minutes last night at the event. But here we go with, you know, we think we have to do it all of ourselves, you know, to create this. And we have that, that overwhelm again. And we have that lone wolf mentality. Hi, Ingrid. 
And the lone wolf mentality today doesn't work. So who could really support you in that big audacious goal? The power partners and the people that I, I like to call co-conspirators. People that buy in to your mission, your message. And, you know, it's not always where they're just sacrificing themselves either because they're coming along with that energy and there's usually a, a symbiotic relationship that is created as well. So who are the ones that not only that will support you, but actually propel you towards that big audacious goal as well? So number four, this is a part that most people, including me at times, really don't like doing. And that's track your progress. So we're going to break it down into a couple of areas, the details and also the results. And so tracking that where you are in the game, where are you on the journey? Because if it gets too far out there and we don't see any movement, that lack of insight can actually stall and then stop us. And then number five, just keep going. Don't quit, or excuse me, I'm gonna go backwards. Quit all you want, just don't stop. I have used this little quote for years for myself because there's times that you get up, you don't feel like doing it. For whatever reason, you're out of sync and you just want to quit. Go ahead. Just don't stop because it's the momentum that is going to carry you through to that end result that you're wanting, that big audacious goal. And here's the key. The momentum is not determined by how you feel about accomplishing that task or that element of the process to get you to that goal. So every day we're not gonna feel like actually getting up and just, you know, we're, we're just wanting to get out there and run the race and do the good fight. So here, we, let's go to the action steps. So let's break it down. So one is, again, create that big audacious goal. And sit down, go back into, you know, when you were younger and you could be an astronaut and you could be a, uh, you know, a fighter jet pilot or a commercial airline pilot or the president, whatever it is, go back and open up if everything was equal, everything was possible, what would that big audacious goal be? And I'll, I'll tell you, when you get it, it's going to well up inside of you. You're going to so connect to the idea and the, the real now, not possibility, but probability of that accomplishing that you're gonna have some feelings that probably you haven't felt in a very long time or maybe never have. But when you have it, you know this is something that you're willing to expand and invest your time, energy, and resources into the accomplishment of that. So that's number one. And over the weekend, and we have a couple of days here, just sit down and look at what it is that's gonna motivate you to that next level and make the trip worthwhile. And so number two is to chunk it down, break it down. So again, the two areas that I want you to think about is all of the tasks, the elements of creating what it is that you want to do. And it's almost like a project manager schematic. And some of you that are the analyticals in on the call today, and I see a couple of you, hey Lloyd, how are you? Yeah, 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 you're going to be surprised at what I'm going to say, but if you have a task and you know the elements of the task, let's say it's writing a book and you have the title, you have the outline, you have the, um, the raw, you know, elements of the, the topic, everything that, you, so you have all these things and line it out, all of the tasks, but then also look at the timeline. The timeline may be, well, I'd love to have this out in 30 days. Well, what's the reality of it? What else would have to be sacrificed for you to be able to do that? So put it in a timeline so that you know predictably that, again, it's going to fit. And so we do this in balance. If we do it out of balance, now sometimes we can when there's an urgency, we're behind the gun, we have an opportunity that it shrinks it. So we look at those things in a little different way. But this big audacious goal, normally in, as you chunk it down, you're going to see that it is over a period that's a little bit longer. Now when I do the dreaming and the visions and the goals, I always talk about the next 12 to 18 months. The big audacious goal may even incorporate one to five years. Now I really 
Yes, I'd like to see it back down to three, but if one to five years is what it's going to take to create it and create that permanency around it, it's still worth it. So number three, the, the take action. So here's something that, again, we want things we, we, when we're first engaged, we're really excited and we're just wanting to put all this energy and all this activity in. Every week, what I'm going to suggest is do one to three things towards that ultimate, big, audacious goal. One to three things. Now, if you do more, great. And some of the tasks are going to be larger than others. And that's why I say one to three. And some may even, if you're not able to get it done in a week, it probably needs to be chunked down, step number two, even more, into smaller bite-sized pieces. And so you put this into your calendar then in a systematic way, and now you're progressing. It's like people that say that they are training for a marathon, and the very first day of training, they go from the front door to the mailbox. And then, hey, Trish, and then you go from the mailbox to the corner, a mailbox to downtown, whatever it is, but you chunk it out. You, you keep expanding that ability. So number, uh, on number four, track your process or progress. And again, this is about how to, what are the tasks on this, on this progress report or on this timeline that I need to get done in order to achieve this, it's like building a building. And so as you do the checkoffs, by the way, when you do a completion, this is a completion, not a completion of the task, the whole idea. You haven't received that end result yet, but you've completed a piece of it. When you check that off, we literally re, uh, release endorphins in the brain. And it's been said that those endorphins are as powerful as cocaine. And that's why we feel good. We have that euphoric feeling. And so breaking that down and then also doing the compensation. Many times, as if it's a monetary goal, we're going to see those revenues come in, maybe not to the level that we're wanting it at the very end, but we're just going to see that process and progress on that side as well. So all of the different elements where you can receive some sort of indicator that you can measure, you want to be able to track that on a weekly basis. Just capture it and then put it away. This is not something I want you to spend a lot of time on. And then um, that again, every week, do that one to, one to three things. I, you know, create that list, that one to three things every week. And then, you know, I have that, it's also called a punch list, uh, it, where you just know that things, different things need to be done. And when we don't stop and we connect every day, and one of the best ways that I know how to do this is what I have designed and created that's called get statements. Hey, Danielle, get statements is how we reboot the brain, how we stay engaged, how we stay engaged with that initial feeling of excitement. And today we don't have time to go over that. I had, uh, I think we had done a uh, episode, a Facebook Live episode on creating get statements a couple of weeks ago. So they'd be on my Facebook wall if you want to go find it. But there's another way that you can get that information. If you go to GaryBarnesInternational.com, that's my website. In the top right hand corner, I created a video with Jessica Peterson. And it is a outline on how to create get statements. But the get statement is a positive future reality statement that you bring back to your present tense. And what it does, it keeps us engaged, it keeps us connected to that result that hasn't materialized in a physical way yet. So I hope this has been beneficial. Again, if you have some ideas of what I could call the Facebook Lives, I would really love to, to hear those from you. And, uh, you know, the uh, connections, the loves, the, the thumbs up, the shares have been really phenomenal. And I really enjoy hearing from each and every one of you. A lot of people are connecting after every episode. So with that, you know, we're going to be meeting Monday, Wednesday, and Friday of every week at 1 p.m., Mountain Time, if you have a topic you'd like me to address, I would love to hear that as well. So have a great re rest of the day, and we'll see you again, 1 o'clock Mountain, either on Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. Hey, Sam, thanks so much. Have a great one, guys. Bye.